So if you need to find the greatest common factor for 50 and 125, here's how you do it. The GCF, that greatest common factor, it's also called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. These are all the same thing. I like greatest common factor. So what we'll do, we'll find the factors for 50 and 25, look at the ones in common, and then just take and select the greatest factor. Okay, GCF. So for 50, 1 times 50, that equals 50, 2 times 25, and then 5 times 10, but those are the factors for 50. For 125, 1 times 125, uh, 5 times 25, and that's it. These are the factors for 125. So we have our factors for 50 and 125. Let's see what's in common, and then choose the greatest. 1. That goes into 50, and 1 goes into 125 evenly. Common factor, 2, no, 5. 5 here, that goes into 50 and 125. But the greatest, greatest one, that's 25. So the greatest common factor between 50 and 125, that is 25. So that's how you find the GCF for 50 and 125. There are other methods like prime factorization, but unless you have a really big number, this works pretty well. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.